really excited about this week's video. I'm going to be talking about how you can start welding for less than $500. I know the welding schools, vocational schools, whatever most of these places that teach welding, they're really expensive. They're in the thousands of dollars. I know a couple around here, they charge about $14,000 to go to the welding school. And I honestly believe that you can learn how to weld on your own, just with the invent of the internet. YouTube alone is the most amazing thing. I mean, there's so many how-tos out there. I personally, myself, am going to be trying to teach you how to weld completely online with your own equipment. So I'm going to show you some of the cheapest equipment you get is not the best. I'm not saying it's the best, but you can get something that's yours that you can hold on to that will actually produce something for you. You can practice and it's more of an investment because it's your own equipment. You can build things, you can repair things, you can start working a little side hustle with this equipment as you're learning to weld. It's just super exciting. I can't wait to get into it. Since I started my welding business, uh, specifically since I proclaimed that I wanted to teach people welding, uh, I've been asked a lot of the same questions over and over again. And one that really sticks out and is asked over and over again is, how do I start welding? How do I learn to weld? Well, first off, I just need to kind of explain a little bit. That's a very broad and general question. I can't just dive right into it with you guys. When you ask me this question, there's so much more to it. And I'm going to kind of get into that a little bit. The first question you have to ask yourself before coming to me saying, how can you weld or going anywhere wanting to learn how to weld? Uh, these are a few questions you need to ask. First is, is it for hobby welding, for a career, or for a business idea you have? And then secondly is what kind of weld process are you wanting to learn? Are you wanting to learn stick? Are you wanting to learn MIG? Or are you learn, wanting to learn TIG? Uh, those are three different welding processes. I'm going to get into those in later videos and hopefully have it in the details below where it'll link over to those videos. But right now, those are the weld processes that or most prominent that you need to know how to do. Now, if it's for a career and for a business idea, that's what you're wanting to learn how to weld, there's a few more questions that you actually need to go into even deeper into that. So the first question is, what are you wanting to work on or in? What kind of field? Is it a fab shop? Are you wanting to go with pipe fitting and fabrication? Are you wanting to do structural platforms? Are you wanting to do repair work? or pipelining, uh, just, just as a few examples, it goes on and on from there, but you need to actually know what kind of field it is that you want to get into before you can really dive into what kind of process you need to learn and uh, what kind of skill trades beyond just welding you'll also need to know. Secondly is, are you willing to travel or are you wanting to work at home? That question will also help you answer the first in where exactly you're wanting to work at. And then the third goes into, are you willing to actually work in the trade that you're wanting to weld for, um, or are you just dead set on going to a welding school? Those are two things you have to kind of battle with on how you want to learn. Uh, I'm a big proponent, as you know, of learning in the trade, getting out there and learning the welding skill, trade skill, in the actual trade that you want to be doing. And lastly, for all of this to work the way that I'm trying to teach you how to do it, are you self-disciplined and are you willing to put your own time into this? You can't just expect somebody else to teach you and you're just magically going to learn. It takes a lot of time and a lot of practice. So back to the original question, how do you learn how to weld? All right, guys, now that you know the direction you want to go, the, the process, travel, no travel, is it you know, career, business, or hobby? All these questions I went over before. Now that you have a direction, I can kind of help you more specifically in what you want to do and how you want to learn. I believe that you should be able to learn right at home. All right, so here's the secret about welding that most people don't know or people that are trying to get into welding don't actually realize. It's so easy to just start. That's the trick, is just starting. Uh, you spend thousands of dollars going to these welding schools, but the instructors don't sit there 
hovering over your shoulder and actually just guide you the every single step the whole way they don't do that they are actually just course correcting you at all times you get started they show you a little something just a little bit almost like a YouTube video just a little two or three minutes to get you started you start doing it it's all about you learning how to read the puzzle to see what's going on to understand when you first get into it you are not going to understand at all what's going on with that pup you have no idea what's going on it's just molten mats it's all about time and time and time and practice so now if you've got your own equipment you've saved thousands of dollars not going to a school and you you're doing it on your own time you have your own autonomy you can learn what you want when you want how you want to do it now that is unlocking the true potential of what you can do. You can learn at your own pace, however fast or however slow you want to go, with whatever process you want to learn. So you get the stuff, you get the equipment, and you start practicing. It's all your own time, put in, put in, put in. Malcolm Gladwell said that to reach mastery in anything, he believes it takes 10,000 hours of practice. So that's just a number, guys. Whether it takes 10,000 or not, it's more important to just understand that it's, with welding as sporadic as it is, it's nothing you can ever just master to perfection. There's no set rules or anything about it. It's, you learn your own way. Each and every welder has a completely different way of learning, of welding, of, you know, doing their thing. There's thousands of different techniques. So you're learning every single day, no matter what, no matter how long you're welding, there will always be something you learn, always something you didn't know that you find out. It's just, it's an art. That's what it truly is, is an art, more so than a science. Finally, we're going to just get to the list now. The super list that I'm saying is for less than $500, everything you need. I'm going to show it right here. I'm going to show you a weld machine, a fab table, grinder, all welding hood and gloves and everything that you need, the welding rod that you should start with, in my opinion, if you're wanting to weld stick, just start with one. Uh, later on, I plan on getting into all the different types of stick welding, all the type of different rods, and explain what they're for and where they're actually practical. But for the most part, most of the welding I've done, it's all been started out 60-10, 60-10 root or 60-10 all the way out or 80-10, but 60-10 is just a really good uh, cell rod to start out with. I think it's great anyways. So here's the list. I'm going to show you the pictures and the links are below. I gain nothing by you guys buying this stuff. So do your own research. These are just examples. I'm not saying these are the best in any way. It's just an example. Uh, they're not affiliate links. I gain nothing financially other than only thing I gain is hopefully saving you thousands of dollars to learn on your own rather than going to a school. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to go into the list. So first up is the Amico Power Welder. Uh, it's a 110, 230 volt plug-in welder, uh, which means you can plug it into any standard plug-in in your garage, outside, wherever you need it to be. It's about the best uh, power source you're going to need just starting out, my welder personally is a gas welder, but I wanted to find something that anybody could use because everybody at their house has a plug-in. So it's got a 60% duty cycle at 160 amps, which means you're going to be able to max this machine out and run it at 160 for about 6 minutes out of every 10 minutes. Uh, that's a really good duty cycle for what this machine is uh, saying that it can actually do and for the price we're looking at about hundred and seventy two dollars for the price tag on this guys and you'll have a stick welding machine next up is the welding helmet and all the welding gear you're gonna need more for your safety um, while you're welding uh, I found the Lincoln Electric Auto Darkening Welding Helmet Kit it's looking right about just under a hundred dollars guys you can see it's got a hood it's got the gloves, it's got some welding sleeves, it's got uh, a welder's cap, uh, it's even got, looks like, fitting magnets. It's got all sorts of things, guys. you got a chip and hammer, a brush on there. Uh, just really good price to just get you started. It's not going to be the best of the best, 
but you're going to be started and you are going to be welding. When you get better at welding, get better equipment and you'll kind of more understand what you want and what you want to spend the money on. So then for the next thing coming up here is just a very standard adjustable steel welding table. A little fab table so you have somewhere to practice on. Um, you can get this off Amazon. You guys are looking at the price there. Looks like it's right at just under $80. Excellent, you know, articulating steel welding table. I know plenty of professional welders that actually use this particular table because it's just so handy. It'll come in really good when you're wanting to just practice on some coupons and some flat steel when we're just getting started. Next up is the four and a half inch grinder by Hitachi. This is a great find guys. For 40 bucks I really don't see how you could go wrong. No it is not DeWalt. It is not the best of the best. But man for 40 bucks you get five grinding discs. You get the grinder. You get a case. Uh, all around I think it's a really good deal. Just for the amount of welding that you guys are going to be doing just starting out. Like I said, not the best equipment, but it's something to get you started. And whenever it does go out, you know what you need, how you need it, and kind of if you're going to spend more money on a better one if you need to. Or this one might last you a good long while. I certainly hope it would. And lastly is looking at the 8th inch 6010 welding rod. reason I like 6010 is because it really can dig into metal, can blast through paint and rust. When I'm doing repairs on industrial equipment or heavy equipment, with Welder B specifically, I always like to run a 6010 root pass first on the metal just to get through any of that crud, rust, grime, uh, scale, whatever it is, it really just blasts through that and heats it up, kind of cooks it out of there real good and then when I clean it up, I can run some 7018 over it. So this is kind of where I would think would be a good idea for you guys to start, is just start running some of this rod. And you can see the price tag on this is about $40 for a 10 pound box. That's a lot of rod guys for starting out, just practicing. Uh, it's, it's really going to be a good place to start. And it's going to teach you to consume as much of the welding rod as you can. Not just throwing away full 4 inch you know, stubs. You're going to burn it down, which I think is an excellent thing to learn. I had to learn myself. Uh, stubs you want to burn all the way down. Find a way to get comfortable to stay burning all the way, stay welding till there's nothing left to that thing before you throw it away. Because hey, this is your own money now we're talking about. So lastly, I don't have a picture anywhere online for it, but you can go to Lowe's or you can go to a local steel supplier, just anywhere. Um, even possibly go to a scrap, uh, sorry, scrap steel place and get yourself just a piece of scrap steel to work on some quarter inch or thicker plate um, something will work really good is some three inch by three inch by quarter inch thick angle iron about a foot long however long you want it pick some up somewhere so we can just have somewhere to start running beads it's all about just hood time and trying to get comfortable with welding that rod alright guys this is the list to get you started so I'm going to leave it up to you on whether you want to get it or not, whether you want to get a different machine, you want to get different equipment, better equipment, by all means spend the good money and get better if you can afford it. But this is just the base list for the cheapest to get you started welding. Uh, I really think this would be a good place to start for anyone that wants to. And whatever you do, please don't forget, if you watch this and you enjoyed it or if you watch my other videos, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I would love to continue teaching you and just follow along with my journey as we continue to grow. I continue to get more videos up and you get to see where I go and where I take welder beasts. This is going to be an exciting journey. I would love you to stay on here with me and see where it goes.